Hi, welcome back to Peace Practices. After our short uh, break for the summer holidays, we are back for the autumn. We've got a couple of sh uh, changes coming up uh, and just to explain that. So we are still offering you the two Peace Practices per month. The first one, as usual, will be given either by myself or by Sean. But the second one, Sean and I are going to record a conversation uh, around mindfulness and peace and faith and well-being and those sort of things and then together we'll do a peace practice so that's what the second one per month will look like a little bit different so I hope you enjoy that uh, and then just to quickly let you know that um, I am offering a new thing at, uh, from the, the end of this month which is a short free weekly mindfulness practice via zoom for anybody of of any faith or no faith who would um, either like to start a regular mindfulness practice or if you do one already to have a moment in the week where you do one with other people. So if that appeals or you'd like to find out more then please uh, just email me at belinda at wildacrewellbeing.co.uk. But as for today uh, I wanted to offer a simple and short practice uh, that can help you feel more grounded in moments when you're just <clears throat> excuse me out and about in the world but getting caught up in your in your thoughts and feelings and reactivity and just need a moment to slow down and to ground yourself again feel a bit more steady i know that that's something that i need on a regular basis and this short practice has just helped me have the moments of mindfulness when i need them when i'm going about my daily life so that's what I thought I'd share with you today. So perhaps if you would like to join in now, uh, you would like to get your, maybe get yourself into a, a sort of fairly quiet and peaceful place where you won't have too many distractions. Uh, also, this is a practice that you can very much make your own, that you can adapt, that you can bring your own words to. Um, so just bear that in mind. If you, you know, if you want to use this um, in an ongoing way in your own life, this is definitely something that you can bring your own flavour to. So if you could get uh, uh, to seated upright position and importantly for this one, to have your feet flat on the floor. That's just a key thing for this particular practice. And so let's just bring ourselves, you know, you know the, know the rigmarole by now, just to bring yourself into this moment of time to try and gather your thoughts and yourself into this moment right here and right now. And you might find it helpful to close your eyes. If you don't want to do that, absolutely fine. Just maybe soften, lower your gaze. But just turning inwards for a moment, just recognising that this is a moment in time and you are present to it. And as you begin to soften into that awareness, it might feel that your mind is absolutely full of thoughts popping up and that's completely natural. And so we can bring our attention to our thinking and we can notice without judgment without the need to kind of fix anything. What's going on in our thinking? And it can help to use the imagination. So you might even want to imagine the thoughts as they pop up like little leaves just floating down a river on the current. You can see them coming into your mind, but you can just let them float by until they've gone. There's no need to get into the river. There's no need to grab them or stop them. But similarly, there's no need to really, in this moment, get involved with them. Just accepting that they're there. The things they may be telling you, you may need to go back to at another moment. But in this moment, you're just witnessing to them. You're observing them. And with that comes this really reassuring inner knowledge that that is a you behind the busyness of your thinking. A you that can observe, bring kindness and compassion. A you behind all the frantic activity 
that goes on in the human brain. And perhaps we could now just shift the focus of attention away from our thoughts into our bodies. So almost allowing that attention to sink from the head into the chest, into that heart space. You might even want to put your hand over your heart it can help just to bring that attention to the body. You may want to focus on the breathing the in-breath and the out-breath. Again, just allowing the breath to settle, noticing its rhythm, the way it gives you life. Maybe allowing the shoulders to soften any part of your back that feels tense, just allowing some softness there. You may just want to make little micro movements to get your body really comfortable. And again, here you are with your attention on your breathing, your body. And maybe you could in the next uh, in breath, just Imagine sending that breath all the way down to your feet. Just doing that a few times. Just bringing the attention down, all the way down to your feet. Just noticing how they feel. If you are able to give them a little wiggle, you maybe do that. If you can have your feet on the floor, just pressing your feet into the floor a little bit, maybe rocking them backwards and forwards from the heels through the midfoot to the ball of the foot and the toes and back again. If you're not able to have your feet on the floor, if your feet are maybe on a wheelchair, and there's some contact there, just sensing of that contact if that is possible. If you are lying down, maybe just feeling any contact that you have with your feet, your heels, maybe on the bed or the sofa. The idea is to just lean into that sensation of connection with your feet. And particularly the connection of your feet and the floor or whatever they're touching. That sense of the earth, the ground, or the whatever your feet are on, just that sense of grounding. You may want to say a few words to support that feeling, that connection, something like, here I am. Perhaps saying something like, I'm on solid ground. Perhaps I'm connected. Just that wonderful sense that we are grounded to something bigger than ourselves. If you are a Christian, you might want to say these words to yourself in this moment. They're from Psalm 31. They're addressed to God. The psalmist says, be to me a rock of strength. Be to me a rock of strength. Breathing in that presence, that solidity, that rock-like love. I think we can all just 
embrace that sense of connection and groundedness of solid rock beneath our feet connects us all. The love that is present. You may just want to stay and breathe here in the quiet. Enjoying that sense of being grounded in your body, grounded in your faith, grounded in love. But if you would like to make this just a short practice, you could open your eyes again now, bring yourself back into the room and to the screen that you're watching. And I hope that that is just a useful, quick practice that helps you feel a little bit more grounded when you need it, when you're out and about. And I really look forward to seeing you next time on Peace Practices.